Hey there, Mountaineers. Haven't done one of these in a while. We've got a box from MoviesRUSA.net today. So uh, we're going to dive into that and see what they sent us. Uh, not going to put up the little graphics of what the prices are and stuff. You've seen enough of these to know where to go and uh, find it and see what it is if you're interested. So the code's still the same. 40% gamer. Just put in the word gamer and just say 40%. Can't beat that. So uh, let's see what they sent us. Ooh, right off the bat, we've got some horror. We've got HP Lovecraft's Necronomicon. This is from uh, 93. I remember this one well. Let's take a look at the disc art. That's the disc art for it. They didn't, even, they didn't get the full name on there, but you can still make out what it is. So, yep, Necronomicon. Next, uh, I can barely read this. The art's so faded on it. Uh, this is Rebecca Hall and Nighthouse. Trying to not get the glare. It's hard enough to see without the glare. And there's the back. This is a newer uh, horror movie. I've heard good things about this. Look forward to watching it. And uh, this looks pretty good on this one. They got everything on there. Looks looks legit. Next we got Werewolf by Night. New uh, Marvel Disney movie. Heard this is pretty good. There's the back of it. Oh, my cat just went in the litter box. It's horrible. It's hard to even do a video. It's gag a maggot. All right, and there's the disc. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Definitely can't look. Can't wait to check that one out. I've been meaning to watch that one. Um, next we have the stairs. This one I haven't heard of. Uh, There's the back. Good lord, you stink cat. There's the disc. This one I'm not too sure on. I might check it out and see, but. Looks decent. It's a survival movie, it appears, it says. Uh, here we got Dr. Seuss. The Grinch, the musical. I'm not sure where this comes from. It doesn't have any, it doesn't really tell. And there's the back. The disc looks good. And there's the disc. Not too sure to tell you where to watch this one at. You just have to grab your copy on there if you're interested. Next we have the Mysterious Benedict Society Season 1. So this is a Disney Plus show. There's the back. I would say pause and read it, but I, can, I can't read it. I hold it in my hand. It's so faded and tiny looking. And uh, this is a three discs. Season now it's kind of crazy. It took uh, three discs for one season of a uh, one of these shows. They usually get them all on one. And there's that. I've never heard of this. I can't tell you anything about it. Never heard of this either. But it's another Disney movie. Smoke. There's the back. The lettering is actually pretty good on this one, but the picture is like super washed out. There's the disc. The disc looks horrible. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that one. Never heard of it. Here's uh, Raising Hope, the complete series on just two discs. There's the back. There's the discs that look really good. 
They didn't get the whole name on there there. Yeah, Raising Hope. Pretty good show. Pretty funny. Super pumped. It's got Gordon Love, uh, Uma Thurman, and Kyle Chandler. I'm actually a fan of all three of them, so I'll definitely check this out. I hadn't seen it yet. The artwork and stuff actually looks pretty decent on this one, too. There's the discs for it. Yeah, I'll definitely check this one out. Oh, here's the new mini series Dahmer from Netflix. Looks pretty good. That's good looking artwork right there. There's the back. Looks good too. This looks really good too. This is actually a pretty good uh, copy of the film. Um, Secret Magic Control Agency. Uh, where does this come from? This is Sony, so maybe this is just something that was released that I never heard of. I was thinking it was on some streaming service, but I don't see that anywhere. Actually, it just says Sony. <laughs> no, it's Netflix. It's on the disc. There's the disc for it. I hadn't heard of this show. If you have and uh, it's good, let me know. Or a movie. I think it's a movie. Oh, Sam Raimi and uh, Creator of Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. It's Mantis. I actually never heard of this. It's a complete series. I'll definitely check this out though. It's on two discs. Now, this is intriguing. I'll definitely watch this. Next off, I just watched this the other day Spirit Halloween. I forgot what services is on. Is it Hulu? Doesn't say. And there's the disc. And there's the back. This is a pretty fun movie for all ages. Here's another Disney movie that I've never heard of. I actually collect Disney movies and this is what it's supposed to it doesn't look like newer stuff. It must be just like old stuff that uh, maybe they don't print, have, uh, maybe they ain't print on Blu ray yet. Summer Magic. Yeah, I never. And this looks good. This art looks really good. This looks like a, like an official release. That looks nice. first season of Black Summer. Here's another Netflix zombie show. Uh, this is pretty decent, really. I, I've, I've seen this. So far, I haven't seen the one thing I was wanting really, really bad. I thought he was gonna, he said he was gonna put it in here, but I haven't seen it yet. There's the disc, and that's uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Hopefully, it's one of the ones we get to at the end. Because that's the last thing we talked about was, uh, he said he was definitely sending me that one. Uh, that's, this isn't it. This is Hubie Halloween. I've actually got a copy of this. So I got off eBay. So if I pass this on to somebody, this looks good. I actually like this movie. A lot of people aren't crazy about it, but I actually think it's a fun Halloween movie. This is a pretty good, like, Halloween like a Halloween box kind of a lot of Halloween films in here Brad Pitt's War Machine this I've never heard of either if you've seen this let me know oh it's Netflix so this must be a new one I have to check this out it looks like an older movie but yeah this is a new Netflix movie I have to check this out if you've seen this I know a lot of people have Netflix let me know what you think about it Get over it. Hi, this is a movie from is it early two thousands probably, with uh, Kirsten Dunst. That's uh, pretty good. I think that's Mila Kunis too. The artwork's really really faded on this one though. I got this on DVD. I believe that I might just throw this disc in the DVD case because you can't even make out the back like you can in 
half, I guess that, that looks like Mila Kunis cattail. Some of this artwork's horrible. Stan versus Evil complete series. It looks horrible though. I had to, especially the back, like super faded. Usually the discs look good, but even this disc art looks pretty bad. It's really faded. This is a good show, though. I'll definitely hold on to this because I don't think this is uh, I don't think this is on physical format, so it's good just to have them all on one disc to throw in and watch. Wow, this looks horrible. Dukes of Hazard. This thing looks like it came out in the '80s when Dukes was on and it's been sitting outside in the sun since. So washed out, you can't even read the side of it. Back looks bad too. Discs look really good though. Three discs, they all have the same art. That's the art. Might just throw those in a different case too. I have um, I have the DVD box set, so I might just work these in there somewhere in case I just want to watch them all in on lesser discs. But that's horrible art. Oh, look at this. Hellraiser, the new one. I, I've been wanting to watch this. Uh, I'll probably watch this tonight. This is a Hulu uh, exclusive. There's a the disc. This is actually a pretty good copy. Like, if I paid for this copy, I wouldn't be too let down. Looks pretty good, really. Looks like it's a real release. Oh man, this is one I love too. Art's not bad on it either. The Scanners Trilogy. That looks really good. Let's look at these discs. Oh yeah, look at that. These discs look great too. This is a good release right here. Look at those discs. Yeah, that's a good release. I like this one. I like that one a lot. Oh, I love this show when I was a kid. The Littles. The art's pretty good on this one, too. All 29 episodes. When you was a kid, it seems like these shows were on longer than that. Okay, and there's the disc. You know, it feels like more than 29 episodes. We got two more. And it don't look like Spider-Man and Amazing Friends is in here. Kind of let down by that. He said he was going to throw that in there for me. I've just been wanting to watch it. That was one of my favorites growing up. But here's another favorite growing up. Dark Queen Duck. The complete series. I wish Disney would release this and DuckTales on uh, Blu-ray there. It's on three discs. Look pretty good. Yeah. Definitely going through this one again. like that show. Ah, oh, here's one that was on my list though, that I had been wanting that I had both parts of, and that's Kissing Booth 3. I'm a fan of this little movie for some reason. There's the back. And there's the disc. It's a good looking release. Definitely throw this in my collection with the other two. Yeah, but that's it. That's uh, the box this time. Uh, hopefully next box will have Spider-Man in it. I was wanting to watch that and talk us because I was going to, you know, talk about that series a little bit, uh, do a video on it because I grew up on that one. I loved it. So uh, hopefully it's in the next box. But that's this box, and that's MoviesRUSA.net, and like I said, the code is Gamer, and that gets you forty percent off, maybe fifty. I was supposed to email him and. Uh, he was supposed to change it to 50, but uh, I haven't really got an email from him in a while. I don't know if there's an issue with the email or he's just not emailing back, but it may be 40, it may be 50. Just try it out. Just put Gamer in there at the checkout, and you're going to save 40 or 50, depending on what it is now. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, uh, some of these is stuff you've been looking for, and you grab you a copy of it. If you do, let me know. I like hearing from you guys when you do actually buy from him and i like to tell him hey uh, you got a couple orders coming your way so uh see you next time